Hello, it is another Sunday School with Mrs. Abaro. Today is the 32nd Sunday in Ordinary Time. In the Gospel reading, we hear about a widow who was generous, a widow who gave all she had to God. The Gospel reading connects to the first reading story of Elijah and the widow of Zarephath, who was willing to give all she had to prepare a meal for the prophets. And you know what? She was blessed. Hmm. Now, children, what does it mean to be generous? Have you heard of the word before? Generous. What does it mean? It means to give or to share. You share money, give money, or other things. Your time, talent, often more than is expected. Okay? It means you're generous. Sometimes being generous involves making a sacrifice. Okay? Yes. You know, sacrifice means giving up something, something you like. Okay? Just to share with others. Now, which is more generous or difficult? Giving away an old toy? you no longer need, you don't play with, or a new one that you like so much. Which will be more generous or difficult? Which? Which will be more generous? Giving the new one, right? Yes. Giving away the old one is easy because you no longer need it, isn't it? Yes, it's easy for you to do. But giving up a new one? Wow. It would be difficult, hard, because you like it and you use it, isn't it? Yes. It requires you to make sacrifices. Yes. Okay? Now, we'll have to listen to the gospel reading to hear what Jesus said about the widow who didn't give her leftovers, but gave all she had. To listen about the widow who was generous, a widow who was willing to give to the Lord. Pay attention. Jesus denounces the scribes. As he taught, he said, Beware of the scribes who like to walk around in long robes and to be greeted with respect in the marketplaces and to have the best seats in the synagogues and places of honor at banquets. They devour widows' houses and for the sake of appearance say long prayers. They will receive the greater condemnation. The widow's offering. He sat down opposite the treasury and watched the crowd putting money into the treasury. Many rich people put in large sums. A poor widow came and put in two small copper coins which are worth a penny. Then he called his disciples and said to them, Truly, I tell you, this poor widow has put in more than all those who are contributing to the treasury. For all of them have contributed out of their abundance, but she, out of her poverty, has put in everything she had, all she had to live on. Oh, my. Wow. Okay. We'll take a quick review, children. Now, Jesus often warned his disciples about people who did not practice what they preached. And so, in the first part of today's gospel, from verse 38 to 40, we hear Jesus warn the crowds not to follow the examples of the scribes, not to follow the examples of these leaders in seeking honor and attention from others. You know, Jesus was teaching this while in the temple area of Jerusalem. There were many leaders who were focused on making themselves look good before the people, but their hearts were not set on God. As Jesus was watching the people, he noticed the leaders who made a big show of things and how they put a lot of money in the offering, just to look important. But Jesus also noticed a widow, a poor woman, who had very little but gave all anyway. And you know what? Jesus was happy. Mm -hmm. And he called his disciples he drew their attention to this woman's act and explained that the woman gave more. She didn't give out of any wealth. She hadn't anything, but she gave out of her poverty. She gave all she had to live on. Two coins. She gave all she had. 
And Jesus said this woman had given more than the others who came to show off, who came to give out of their abundance. Wow. Jesus wants us to be generous. Now, what have we learned? Lesson one, we should be generous. Hmm? Yes, we should learn to share what we have with others. Learn to share what the Lord has given to you. You have got three pencils, give out one. You've got ten toys, give out one. There must be a child, there must be a classmate in school who hasn't anyone. So share, okay? Okay, children, yes, let us learn to share. That way we are giving to God. Remember that Jesus showed this act of generosity when he gave his life for you and I on the cross. Okay, so let us learn to be generous. Another lesson. Giving all we have shows we trust God. Yes, the woman was willing to give all she had. I believe she trusted the Lord to make provision. The widow in the first reading, the widow of Zarephath, um, attended to the prophet, that's prophet Elijah, by giving the little flour and oil she had to make um, a cake for the prophet, you know. She used everything she had and she believed that God is going to reach out to her. And it happened. The Lord blessed her through Elijah. So we should um, trust the Lord, okay? That way we'll be able to give. But if we hold tight to what we have, it shows that we don't even trust God to provide, okay, children? Let us learn to share, huh? Okay, when we trust God to provide for us, we can share what we have with others, as Jesus calls us to do. Okay, any more? Give out of gratitude. This is very important. Okay, what does it mean? Okay, what does the word gratitude mean? That you're grateful. Okay, you are thankful. We should give out of gratitude. Okay, give out of gratitude thankfulness you're grateful because all we have comes from god and also belongs to god okay we should not be proud like the scribes we should not be full of ourselves like the leaders that jesus was talking about in the, in the gospel reading of today okay so we should give with a thankful heart that oh lord you've given unto us we are only sharing with people around us what you have given okay all right let us take our memory verse, and it's from verse 44. What does it say? They all gave out of their wealth, but she, out of her poverty, put in everything, all she had to live on. This is telling us that we should give with a thankful heart, okay? With a heart trusting the Lord to provide. Okay, children, let us pray. Position for prayer. Are we good to go? Yes. Dear Father, Help me to be generous and so give willingly or freely. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We come to the end of today's Sunday School. Don't forget that Jesus loves you and he cares for you. Till next Sunday, it's bye from Mrs. Saboro. Share. Be generous. God bless you.